Hello everyone. Welcome to Topic of the Day. Through this initiative, Next IAS aims to help you cover one important topic of current relevance every day. In today's video, we will be discussing India's climate targets. So India has recently updated its nationally determined contribution or NDC and this has brought India's climate targets in the news. Nationally determined contribution or NDC is a climate action plan to cut emissions and adapt to climate impacts. Each party to the Paris Agreement is required to establish an NDC and update it every five years. Now a little information about the Paris Agreement. It is a legally binding international treaty on climate change. It replaced the previous Kyoto Protocol, which was an earlier agreement to deal with climate change. It was adopted by 196 parties at COP21 in Paris in December 2015, and it entered into force in November 2016. Now, it requires the countries to spell out a pathway to ensure that the globe does not heat up beyond 2 degrees Celsius. It in fact endeavors to keep it below 1.5 degrees Celsius by 2100. Now, let's understand the difference between the previous NDC and the updated NDC. India's first pledge or NDC was put forth in 2015 to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. It had three primary targets. Firstly, it aimed to reduce the emissions intensity of the economy by 33 to 35% below 2005 levels. Secondly, it aimed to have 40% of installed electric power from non-fossil fuel-based energy resources by 2030. And finally, it intended to create an additional carbon sink of 2.5 to 3 gigatons of carbon dioxide equivalent by 2030 through additional forest and tree cover. And on the other hand, according to the updated pledge, India will reduce the emissions intensity of its GDP by 45% from its 2005 levels by 2030. The country will also target about 50% of cumulative electric power installed capacity from non-fossil fuel-based energy resources by 2030. Apart from this, India will also increase its non-fossil fuel energy capacity to 500 gigawatt by 2030. Overall, the total projected carbon emissions will be reduced by 1 billion tons from now through 2030. Now, life or lifestyle for environment has also been added to India's NDC to further a healthy and sustainable lifestyle as a key to combating climate change. This brings us to another question. How exactly are these updated NDCs significant for India? So the updated NDC will help India usher in low emissions growth pathways. It would protect the interests of the country and safeguard its future development needs based on the principles and provisions of the UNFCC. The update is also a step towards achieving India's long-term goal of reaching net zero emissions by 2070. The decision on enhanced NDCs demonstrates India's commitment at the highest level for decoupling of economic growth from greenhouse gas emissions. So friends, this was a brief bit about India's climate challenge and its updated NDCs. Now let us take up one practice question based on this topic. Consider the following statements. The Paris Agreement seeks to limit global warming to well below 2 degrees Celsius. India stands committed to reducing the emissions intensity of its GDP by 45% by 2030 from its 2005 levels. Now which of the statements given above is or are correct? A. One only. B. Two only. C. Both one and two. Or D. Neither one nor two. Now friends, please mention the correct answer in the comment section given below. And the correct answer is option C, which means both the statements are correct. The Paris Agreement does seek to limit global warming to well below 2 degrees Celsius. And India stands committed to reduce the emissions intensity of its GDP by 45% by 2030 from its 2005 levels. So friends, this was all about the topic of the day today. And we will be seeing you with another topic to be prepared tomorrow. Thank you.